Hello. So today I'm going to be showing you an interesting concept I learned from being stuck on a Chromebook as a student. Um, and it's basically online Photoshop or whatever, photo editing, etc. And uh, what I'm going to start with is uh, uh, just show you what I mean. Now, Google Slides, you know, it's a free presentation thing. It's like a PowerPoint uh, knockoff but nicer, so I guess it's not a knockoff. But uh, it's a lot more versatile than you might think. Now, for example, I've got a blank thing here. Uh, you, you have shapes, and with the shapes themselves, you can do all sorts of things. For example, the first thing you, you, you're just like a Hello World program. The first thing you're tempted to do is to draw a phallus object. Uh, perfection. This is basically the Hello World program. Uh, don't mind me if you're looking for uh, serious like videos, you won't get them here. But these should be informative, almost silly. Anyways, so you get the idea. You can make that, but you not only shapes and stuff. You can recolor the shapes. Um, let's make uh, uh, you know what? It's it's blue now, and. Perfect. It, it meshes together perfectly. <laughs> Presto. <laughs> All right. Um, going back, you can see how easy it is to make graphics and stuff. Let's say we want to make a cruddy meme. Well, let's see. Let's take a, I don't know, a wizard hat. If you throw a PNG onto your search, there's a chance you'll get images with no background, which is pretty nice. Perfect. All right, that's a wizard hat. Now let's say we want to make a wizard rat, not just uh, not just any rat, but post this rat, wizard rat. Post this. That's a tongue twister somehow. Post this rat. Now, we could use the GIF version, but uh, I'd much rather use a still version so I don't have to screenshot and stuff. It's a little simpler. Alright, we've got our two ingredients, a wizard hat and a rat. Now, you might be thinking, if you're really new to slides, oh crap, I, uh, I got a I gotta add these in a specific order, but uh, that that's not the case. Any order is fine. Uh, you can use order bring to forward, and bring to like front and stuff just to see what overlaps or and whatnot. But uh, I'm going to make a relative. Oh, I just coughed that accent. I'm going to make a relatively simple wizard rat by just taking that hat, plopping it on his head, and bam. You got a meme. But let's say you want to do something a little better or a little more interesting or not inter just a little. We want to put a little more effort into it. Well, uh, let's say I don't like the post this rat. I just I want the post this, this rat gone. That's very simple to change. All you have to do is crop the image. Boom. It, the post this, post this rat's gone. You just got that uh, r nice rat with the, this yellowish beige background and a wizard hat. Now, let's say you want you're pissed that the wizard hat is sticking out of the sticking out of the background. What you can do is you can copy and paste this image like I'm doing here. And then I'm cropping it again. So now it's just this yellow bar. And you probably already guessed what I'm doing. You can see I just literally uh, use use this to cover a thing it's like pa patching I want yeah that's that's a good word for it patch art that's what I, call, I don't know if it if this is not an already a style or something new but you can literally just put patches and patches and stuff and uh, boom you have a wizard rat 
you can export this. But uh, let, let, let's, uh, uh, forgive me for using this word, but let's redify it. Um, and how are we going to do that? Well, let's add some classic, ugly, stupid, bold text. Um, when you sneeze and your shoes fly off. No, I love it when I like try to use shortcuts and I end up wasting time instead of saving cut time because I'm so used to them. Anyways, uh, I'll keep that copy to my clipboard for now. What I'm going to show you is how to resize text very easily because I don't, for me, the changing this bit by bit does not work too well. Let me pull up the doo -doo -doo -doo, the wonderful underrated on-screen keyboard. All right quick way to decrease or increase font size. Uh, you can use control shift uh, less than and greater than. Less than to decrease, greater than to, or I'm, uh, I'm not, just call them alligators or whatever. This one's decreased, this one's decreased. Anyways, uh, going back to Google Slides. And use that. Get a nice and big font. Let's, let's add that other part. Let's add that other part in the same format. You do that by pressing Control, Shift, and V, or P if you're on Mac, scumbag. <laughs> Anyways, um, this isn't perfect. I'm just showing you concepts. You could put a lot more effort, as much as you dare waste, into this. Uh, we can change the color. Let's say we want that lovely, bold font. Um, all right, there, I miss the days of bold, or not, but impact font. All right, it looks like that they sued Google or something, or I don't know, they, they, they were not happy that their font was free. Uh, let's see what the next best thing is. I'd say this looks okay. A little formal, but it works. Let's bold that, make it, oh yeah, that's that, there we go. And bam, Reddit quality meme right there. But um, hell, let's make it a little more stupid. And uh, let let's let's uh, in Google you in Google Slides, believe it or not, you can also uh, adjust properties and like recolor images. All right, I'm going to. Oh yeah, that's right. Move this for a second. Grab all this. That just makes it so it all moves at one at one time, and voila. Okay, <laughs> move this again. You get the idea. It's not Adobe Photoshop or whatever, but uh, with a little bit of finesse, you can uh, you can work with this, which is cool. All right, so we've grabbed the images. We're gonna format the images. Uh, hell, let's do the extreme contrast deep fry thing, uh, which should be over. Okay, there it is. Perfect. And let's let's make it a little harsher on the eyes than it already is by. Highlighting it in yellow. Okay, that's that's a little too much. I'll, I'll, I'll make the font like well, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Any 
Anyways, you get the idea. It's it's rather interesting. Google is very versatile. Now, let's make this meme somewhat interesting. And let's make it make somewhat of sense. Now, let's say, because I want to show you this next interesting app, uh, you decide to, instead of finding a P in, uh, an image of some Crocs or shoes you want to give your rat, you decide to make your own using Microsoft Paint, but you're on a Chromebook. What can you do? There is this lovely version of Microsoft Paint online. And, all right, this is nice. Let's go draw some Crocs. Let's make them pink, because why the hell not? Now, I don't know why I'm putting in for this. It's not like a professional. Anyways, um, going back to this, there you go. There's your croc. Perfect. Those are some styling. Pink, I did a thing Crocs. I, no, I'm, I doubt it, but I hope that's external. Clip, nope, not external. All right, just screenshot it, no biggie. You can see you can use this at your, itself. It's, uh, it's Microsoft Paint, especially the, the online version. That's kind of cool, that's online. It's rather versatile. But for uh, stupid reasons, I am going to um, t take a screenshot of it and then put it in Google. I think uh, like uh, documents is empty. Uh, pink cronk. Yes, it's a cronk. And that, that's a new name for it. Computer uh, documents. Oh no, we got a background. So what can we do with this to get rid of the background? Well, you could uh, crop it to minuscule um, amounts to get like minuscule amounts of background, but that's not really the best option. I'm going to introduce to you another handy dandy uh, thing. Lunapick.com. Now, Lunapick.com is also rather versatile, but I don't really know it. I'm unfamiliar with it, and uh, so I'm just using it to uh, this basic feature that a friend, an old friend, uh, taught me, which is the uh, transparent background tool. You click on the area that you want to specify as the background. So let's say we want this white border. Boom, now it's transparent. Now let's say uh, you don't want that. Okay, you can do you can do two. That's rather interesting. Oh, you know what? No, that makes sense. Anyways, so we're just, no, oh, what? This is madness. Perfect. All right. Um, save this. Pink cronk. Perfect. Now, pink crock. No background. We can use order to set it backwards. Some. And then 
scream in agony as you have to deal with this being stupid. Here, what I'm going to do is just take this box. Is there is there a hide option? That would be nice. All right, there's not. So I'm just going to take, uh, here, I guess I can just move it for now. There we go. Let's add these crocs to the rat. And then of course, there was something about uh, shoes flying off or something. So we can easily Ta -da. Let's, let's make the shoes actually flying off like I was thinking about before I kind of flipped out of mind. And let's say they're, they flew this way, like Fium. So, or no, they flew, they flew this way. Let's get rid of this ugly thing. And you know what? You want the illusion, like this background shadow down here. And again, go to adjustments or format, and then drop shadow. Okay, that didn't work. I guess it's reflection. Yeah, no, it's reflection. That makes more sense. again because I'm lazy and Google Slides is cool. Oh, because uh, I'm lazy and Google Slides is cool. Let's go ahead, take another screenshot, paste that screenshot, find that where that, <laughs> hmm, that's problem with pasting. I bet you it's, there it is. All right, got this white blotch. Now, actually, you know what? I just, uh, get rid of this thing and move this closer so it matches that shadow. I mean, artistico. Uh, Alright. No, that's the minimum distance. Okay. We can raise it up. And bam. Uh, it's not perfect, but you kind of get it. You, there's a bunch of neat options you can fiddle around with. And let's add this pointless stupid text of course cuz it's necessary and again i'm not happy with the i'm not happy that this croc sticks off the edge so i'm going to grab this rotate it you can press shift to lock angles while you rotate something and google slides by the way they should be paying me for these tutorials, I swear to God. Anyways, um, uh, there we go. That's going to bug the living daylights out of me. So let's adjust that. Come on. Usually Google's pretty amazing with like snapping and stuff. Yeah, that's seamless. That's what I was expecting. And presto. You did it. You made a rat with a shoe flying off. Congratulations. No, oh, we can't neglect the wizard hat. Um, but yeah, MS Paint Online, Google Slides. One more thing I want to show you for tiny graphics and get gifts is Pisc is Pisco. Again, free online, no log. Well, Google has to log in sadly, so I can't do this. And with Pisco, uh, it's a it's a pixel editor and an effective frame or PNG designer that uh. Let 
let's uh, let's make a spinning a spinning uh, a very low quality Obama sphere. You know what? That works for me. I'm not going over this because it's rather self-explanatory and I hope you somehow uh, at least use a pixel editor like on a phone once or something. Perfect. Hyper realistic Obama. Um, almost as realistic as the very realistic uh, elephant. If you've not seen that, I recommend you check it out. It's it's rather random. It's you know the, the nice thing the algorithm might throw at you. Uh, it was a short clip by Terry OS, kind of, kind of silly. Anyways, not Terry uh, OS, just Terry. Cool dude. Don't really want to talk about him because he's got like a complicated story. But uh, going back to the Obama, Obama prism. There you go. You want a rotating Obama cube? Why not? Now, uh, good practice to always do everything twice. Makes you look like, uh, especially like in videos or gifts, it makes you look like Apple. <laughs> and, uh, anyways, you get the idea. We. There we go. We got a spinning Obama sphere. Now, uh, you can shove this into Google Slides, but that's all I have for you today. Um, this, it's, I'll call it the Adobe Creative Cloud series, or I, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's, you can't really compare those two, it's not really realistic, but still it's cool things. You can make low-end stuff, or you can touch up things, or just in general, you can have fun and do stupid stuff. And actually, sorry, I know I said I was done, but one more thing I want to show you is ASI, ASCII art. I, I heard Ben Eder say ASCII art once, so I'm calling it. I don't know how you pronounce it, and I'm not bugging. I'm stubborn. But uh, if you do ASCII art, oh, nope. There's like the fonts and stuff, but what I want to show you is the 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 be the best thing ever. And the here, let's grab. Let's grab the duck, and let's make this duck text that you can paste on any official or random thing from discord to your 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 uh, your homeroom google meet um, of course i got to save this cuz you know that that oh, crap 
that just yep okay won't care about the name just save that and we can adjust the size and if you've never seen ASCII art before you you probably have but if not you're in for an interesting surprise there uh, it's cool it's rather cool okay that's complete shit um, I'm not using this website again I don't know what they did but it, it's a bad website well, not like that bad but still it's You could barely see the duck, and it would. It takes like a lot of. I don't know. You know, it's, I'll show you what I mean by a good. What I wanted it to look like. Here we go. This is the one I originally used. And. Presto. You made a good arts. I mean, look at this. It's it's perfect. Let's uh. Let's make it a little. Um, what's we call it? You know what? This works. Nope, it does not. <laughs> there we go. I know there's like they should put this in regular doc uh, but I think we can get away with using this thing which is designed for like wizardry programming and stuff but we I just want it I'm just using it because it has the oh so glorious multiple um, cursors ability. Look at that. That is the best thing ever. Made my life a lot easier. Boom. Compressed. Now let's take this back to uh, for here let's take it to something else completely another google product as you can tell i use google a lot i think most people do you can see previous attempts anyways we got this nice duck i don't know why it has a green oh yeah because the python format etc let's make that Just making sure so okay um let's grab spaces find spaces replace with um and i'll show you why i'm doing this in a second Now again, this isn't like an efficient way to stuff, but you can see it, it kind of works going back and forth. It's the way of the Chromebook. I'm not advocating for Chromebooks. They are garbage, but this is a way to get stuff done on them. Let's see, I think this is like the largest part of the duck. Perfect. Now we can 
Now let me show you what I set that up for. And we'll end the video here. Let's make someone's day. Fantastic. Um, let's see if this works. Yes, it does. Yes, mother, I'm still working. And that's a good wrapping up point. Have a good night, everyone. Uh, let's see, I'll post the links in the video description. Uh, my channel's too tiny, but if you wouldn't mind, uh, click, click off the video if you do mind, but if you wouldn't mind, just hit the subscribe button or share this. It would help a little. And I might set up like a tiny Discord so uh, people can share their input, their experiences, or other ideas, or feedback. Because YouTube comments are great and all, but I prefer... No, I prefer YouTube comments, but still. You can't really paste images and stuff. And I'm just going to set up a tiny Discord because it's it'll be nice to have. Uh, but yeah, have a good night everyone, or a good day. And uh, see you next time.